Welcome to Simple Review, the series where I briefly play a game, review it, and keep it simple. In today's review, I'm covering a TMORPG called Book of Travels. This TMORPG only offers one option when starting it up, and that is making your character, choosing your server, and jumping into a world to make your own adventure. When choosing your character, you will have 12 characters to choose from. Each will be equipped with their own attributes, and you won't be able to customize them cosmetically. Additional attributes can be added to slightly customize your character, which will affect how the game is played. When you're done creating your character, you can choose from a few servers, which will affect where you start in the game. Each of these holds a small amount of players, which is where that tiny multiplayer online RPG label comes from. Now, once you make it into the game, you will not be given any information other than a backstory of the world. At this point, you just do whatever you want and make your own story. There are a few NPCs nearby that will direct you to go to several locations to get you comfortable with the game. These quests will not be tracked in game and you will have to manually keep track of what you're doing by writing them down or just remember. There will not be any tutorials other than what is listed in the help section so if you need help you'll have to figure it out yourself or reach out off game to talk to other players because this game does not support a normal chat feature. Communicating with players is done with little pictures rather than having a normal chat system. While attempting to go about your quest, you can scavenge items, engage in combat, and talk with other NPCs. Scavenged items can be used for trading or to benefit your own character. I can't really speak on the combat, it was really confusing, but from what I could understand, you can initiate a fight with some NPCs and whoever strikes first wins. That could be incorrect, so apologies if I got that wrong. Talking to NPCs can give you quests, XP, allow you to trade, or give you some lore. And that's pretty much all that this game has to offer. Now from my experience, I'd have to say that I was severely disappointed in this game. The whole bare bones, make your own adventure approach just did not work with the current setup of this game. Starting out, you were given some instructions to go from point A to point B over and over, and it all ends up feeling like a walking simulator. The game looks great, sounds great, but beyond that, it just felt empty with nothing to do. The most I did in my two hours of playtime was just scavenge a few things, talk to a few NPCs, and attempt to fight someone. The game is currently plagued with server issues and terrible optimization. So currently, with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 3 pepperonis out of 10. Book of Travels is an overly ambitious game that fails to provide an enjoyable experience. I feel that this game should have held off release for a while longer to allow it to be more polished. Perhaps I'm just not well rounded in this type of gameplay, but for someone who has played a good amount of MMOs, this just did not hold my attention one bit. It has potential to be made into a great game, but currently it's just not something I could recommend. And that'll do it for this review. If you found this review to be helpful, or you would like to see more reviews, please leave a like, subscribe, and check out my channel where I post game reviews and game guides.